I think one of the key steps is uh, also looking at biodiversity inclusive planning and how to further implement nature-based solutions. Communication is really key and, and language and moving away from the technical language that we often hear. Not all people understand what nature-based solutions are um, and in fact nature-based solutions have been there for a long time already. Not termed as such but people have been working with nature all the time. I think the time of working in silos is, is over. We need to now work with a comprehensive team and listen uh, and, and I think most important is the listening part because I think when you look at the activities that need to be done, they need to be collective action. I think the next step should be governments really being serious and look back at what exactly are they doing beyond a review of the NBSAPs and not just rely on that legally you know, binding process, but implement other processes. We only have six years until 2030. As nature declines, then the resilience of the world declines. So time is running out for us to solve this problem. And one of the calls from the Global South was, we think about nature in different ways, we've got different worldviews, and often it's those communities in the Global South that have the biggest reliance on nature and also have the biggest impact. And so we need to make sure that we consider their voices and decisions. I think capacity building is important for all people and especially especially the stakeholders in business sectors. They so much benefit from biodiversity and they really should be contributing at bringing efforts towards conservation. Yeah.